Today we're going to be learning about volcanic hazards and the extent of the damage that each of them can cause and the scale on which they also can occur. So the first one you probably already know is lava. This is hot molten rock that has erupted from the volcano. Molten basically means it's rock but it moves a bit like a liquid um, as we can see in the gif here and lava is as we've discussed already, it's magma that has reached the surface of the earth. So lava is very destructive. It will happily destroy farmland and buildings, any infrastructures in the ways. But, but it's actually very, very slow and comparative to other volcanic hazards, um, depending on the type of lava. But it can usually most lavas um, move at less than 10 miles an hour. And therefore, because of this, um, because it's not very fast, we get very few deaths from actual lava but we do get lots of damage to infrastructure you can see this happening in hawaii in this picture and we can even see down here that fires are starting to happen because the lava is actually setting fire to the trees and the infrastructure around it the next hazard is a lahar and lahar as you can see is this fast moving mud flow which is made when uh, some form of water and ash mix so this ash is coming obviously from the volcanic eruption, um, but the water can come from many sources. It can normally come from rainfall, which it rains on all that ash and trains it into a, a mud flow, but it can also come from melted glaciers as well. So lahars are very, very, very destructive to property and infrastructure, but they're also can damaging to people as in people can swept away and die in them. They're very, very quick um, moving, so they can move at up to 40 to 50 miles an hour. Um, and they have this consistency of, of wet concrete. So they're a, a huge force of mass that is liquid when it's moving, a, a giant mud storm of river, uh, but then it sets... Uh, when stopped and you can see that as I've outlined on the the picture on the video this is all kind of a laha that stopped and we can also see if you, we can see this is where the volcano is it's actually traveled a long 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 way so not only are they very fast but they can travel you know many kilometers away from the actual source of the volcano the next hazard is ash. This is very fine particles of rock that get ejected or expelled from a volcano during an eruption. And as we can see in this picture from Iceland in 2010, when the Jafjallajökull erupted, um, we get the uh, particles are thrown very, very high in the air, so many miles high. And therefore, because of this, the scale of ash in terms of a hazard it means that it can actually reach kind of a, a global level sometimes if, if the eruption is that bad it can reach at a, a regional level so in 2011 um, 10 when this eruption happened this covered nearly all of Europe in ash and that had very very significant problems some of the problems that ash can cause, obviously there's a lot of ash in the air and when there is a lot of ash in the air, if someone breathes them in, this can cause what we call respiratory diseases, so to do with the respiratory functions, um, things like the lungs. Um, and this is caused by breathing in the ash, so you can get lung cancer, but you can also get irritation to the eyes as well. If we get a large ash um, deposit it can cause a, like a blanket all over the land this can cause crops to die and if you get it in very heavy amounts on buildings then they can actually cause buildings to collapse with all these hazards again we need to think about scale so here's um, a map showing hazards out of Mount Baker, which is over here. And as we can see in that area that I've circled, that is where we've had like lava and pyroclastic flows. And this is all roughly within about 10 miles. So pyroclastic flows and lava will kind of go are really realistic in most instances, no further than 10 to 20 miles from the actual uh, volcano. But if you look um, at this yellow and red area here and here, this is the actual lahars. And as we can see, they can go much further. So just in terms of looking at these disasters, it's always important to think about the scale of them. So ash can go up to a global level, but pyroclastic and lava are gonna be more localized 
and then lahars are going to be somewhere uh, in between so they can and can't go to a global scale but they can go sometimes you know often 30 40 miles from the actual um, volcano the last major hazard is volcanic gases and they are simply gases that are being expelled by the volcano that include carbon dioxide sulfur dioxide and carbon dioxide um, in the picture here you can see that this is a lot of sulfur because of the yellow color being um, emitted very similar to ash they cause um, respiratory diseases when you breathe them in and they also irritate the eyes um, causing problems there um, and when they have really large quantities of them they can cause death and if we talk about this in terms of scale even though some of them in large eruptions can be um, uh, expelled to great heights most of these will be local um, because the gases won't be able to travel so far from the actual main point of the volcano.